We were at the match, Michael, last night, and one of the big talking points in reaction to us was there were several unsavoury incidents in it. Well, that's putting it mildly, Des. Um, I, I'd f first of all, I'd say I love hurling and hard hurling and tough hurling, but I left, uh, and I have great time for Wexford and Wexford hurling, the lads I played against in the 80s and 90s, but what I witnessed last night made me very, very angry, I have to be honest, particularly from the Wexford players. I thought their attitude, their real discipline, like nobody has a right to go out in the hurling field and pull across another guy's head, and I saw several examples of it last night. And I thought it was absolutely disgraceful. I was angry last night, I'm angry now. You see from the throw in, Kieran Kenny here, wild pull. Now, Brian Gavin, a very experienced referee, straight away in the first second of the game, he gives a yellow card. He lays down the tone. I'm not taking any nonsense. A lot of refs in that instance would just give the free, mm. but he gave the yellow card, and that doesn't look as bad, but I was there behind it. It was high, it was reckless, and he said, OK, that's right. Now, if you watch here, the double number 10, Conor McCormick, he breaks his hurl and he jabs Andrew Shore, who's involved in the next instance. A very bad jab. I think we're going to see it here now. Andrew Shaw comes in and he stands on his hurl and Conor McCormick's hurl. And you see the broken hurl there in his hand, about 18 inches of it. And when he play on then, he jabs Andrew Shaw straight, straight into the stomach with it. Very dangerous. Uh, no place in the game for it. And he could have done a bad injury with a jagged hurl. Andrew Shaw got back on his feet. I was watching it. And the next ball comes down the middle um, from, from the puck out. And Liam Dunn said after the game, the sun was in his eyes. If the sun is in your eyes, you go up and you bat the ball. Whatever. He pulls straight across Ryan O'Dwyer's head, made no attempt to play the ball. You watch it here, he just stands back and nowhere near the ball. That's the ball straight in past him. Terrible stroke, got the red card. But this to me is a worse incident. Peter Kelly is fullback. He gets out in front of his man. You have to remember that Garrett Sinnott is playing in. He's a wing forward. He makes no attempt to go for the ball. He just hits Peter Kelly straight down top of the head and the referee gives him a yellow card. Whatever he must have thought, it was no intent, not as much intent or whatever. I uh, think, you know, careless play. But to me, the man is out in front and those sort of incidents, it ruined the game for me. I don't know where that sort of anybody thinks they can go out in the field and play like that and it, it, to me the, the game was very very poor the attitude was very very poor and Wexford did in the second half improve and Dublin I think for a finish up the Dublin players were actually afraid on the field they weren't going for balls in the air they were backing out of tackles and I wouldn't blame them to be honest with you Yeah well I was talking to a couple of the Dublin players now and I said was it I suppose what you'd expect in a championship replay, but there was a big long rook as well in it you, don't a expect, times. you shouldn't expect someone to hit you on top of the head when you're going for the ball four or five feet away from the ball no, you should not. I saw a Dublin player cringing at the end, and the word, it's not all cowardice. It's out of fear of getting struck. They didn't know where the next belt was going to come from. Look, there's the game. It's a, you know, hurling is an intense and passionate sport, but you know, the reality is that you, you can't condone that, and I don't think it does either the game or you know, anybody else any favours. There's nothing manly about using, using a hurling and jabbing a player, and there's nothing manly about hitting a player into, into the head. OK, th these, these rooks do happen a lot and maybe there's a lot of handbags in it I don't know but th but let's have a look this happened two or three times last night didn't it but well, I think what we're, what we're going to see here it's it's almost unique it's you know it's pretty amazing when you see the amount of players that get around the ball I have a big thing in hurling about the use of the spare hand I think it's a major issue in that you know if you look at some of the players here they're almost playing like it's rugby and you know they're tackling guys and if you can't use both hands in hurling you can't get away with the player the other thing I would question here is Brian Gavin. You know, I know referees are under pressure. They're trying to keep the game going. They're under pressure from, you know, from the crowd. They don't want to be blown. They're hurling men themselves. But, you know, the, that type of rock that's developing is becoming very common in hurling. But and I think, I think that it's, you know, the use of the spare hand is one of the biggest curses that we see in the game at the moment. I think you'd have to ask the question there, Donald. The ball was there for a long time. It was still moving, yeah. so the referee can't stop it. But what were the players doing there? What were they hoping to achieve? Where's their positions? You know, we're talking about coaching and training. Like there was 15 players, I think, in that caption within five yards of the ball. What was? What was? So when someone got it, what were they going to do? Where were? Where were they going to pass it? Or what were they going to do? So why are the players converging like that? Like it's like something you see at an under 10 match, to be honest. And there was a lot of that going on last Saturday evening and again last night. So right, yeah. I just wonder about all the training. Like, where's the hurling, natural hurling? Lads poking balls away from 30 yards out in front of the goals, not able to strike, not looking up, not picking out a colleague. Simple stuff that you take for granted what, in hurling. What were